Hey guys, what's shaking? It's Rainy Flix here, and today I'm doing a first impressions video on a game made by the developers of Genshin Impact. It's called Honkai Star Rail, and it's been on my radar for a while, but I've never actually tried it out up until this point. It recently won the Game Awards Best Mobile Game of 2023, and connected to that, I think they're giving out a free rare character. So that's kind of why I'm checking it out. It kind of feels like a sponsor video, but it's not. I'm checking it out for myself. Make sure to stick around until the end to find out what I think about the game as well. Let's just jump in, let's go! We're on a space train at the moment, that's kind of cool. Let's go! If you've never tried this out before, then you're in the same boat as me. I have no idea what's gonna be coming up. <laughs> Space, the final frontier. These are the logs of the Starfleet Commander. I, am not, I haven't seen enough Star Trek to know the opening. The ship's under attack, please stop playing your violin and go help them out. Look out! <laughs> Seems I came at a bad time. No, no. I think you couldn't have timed it better. <laughs> 234715 system time. Very punctual, Kafka. I'm Kafka. Mm -hmm. Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh-huh. 234459 system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. You did that? No. The Antimatter Legion did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours ago. Nah, that doesn't sound good. Alright, so do we need to fight the Legion? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> after all, Elio didn't put it in the script. Why would it matter? Oh, okay. So it's sort of battling like Pokemon. There's like turn-based fights where you select attacks. Gotcha. So if this we do single target, long. do you not select what target you want to do? You're weak. You're so weak. No damage at all. Select an enemy on the right as you. Okay. Oh, so you highlight which one you want. Okay, and then you click something. Nice. Solid. Okay, this is us. Right, the controls are very similar to Genshin Impact, so that's kind of nice. When did the antimatter legion become yeah, so let's weak? Let's go. I could only attract this much. Did you really want the entire legion to come here? This lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. A Doomsday Beast is also here. Cool. That's more enemy, then. The enemy is now within the character's attack range. Attack selected enemy to trigger combat. Okay. Could be. <laughs> There was only one eye attack. Why are there five things in front of me all of a sudden? You get an ultimate ability that stores up over time. Oh, 
Or just taking damage fills up my meter too. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Spicy. He tried. He tried. Cleaning up other people's mess isn't in my job description. You know, Kafka? Wait a second, that's a Kenshin character. I recognize them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where did you send it, Silverwolf? Some random coordinates. Not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Okay, never mind. It looked more like a Kenshin character earlier. Of course not. I'm just amazed at this fancy technique of yours, as usual. <sighs> just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Herta's Toys. A catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. That's pretty nice. Doesn't sound what does this gutter say about its power level? Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kind of want to know mine. Fine. I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. Ooh, rare item. So that's where the Stellaron is. Let's get it. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. Okay, cool. So Silver Wolf has joined my party temporarily. Cool. Which your character? Me too. It's very similar to Kenshin. She looks awesome, dude. I like Silver Wolf. She looks very cool. I like her style and her hair is so cool. Look at that swirl. That must take so long in the morning to make. <laughs> but yeah, I just like her style. I can destroy boxes too, huh? Is it worth going around destroying all the boxes? I do like to destroy things. Shma oh, you can't destroy those. You can destroy this. Ha! Ooh, treasure box. Okay, I guess we're going in here. So <laughs> stop messing around the and just continue with the story, the yeah. Is up ahead. There will be lots of Legion Void Rangers there. Okay. Yeah. But stands, buddy. May as well kill them all. Oh, so this is the order they attack in. So Silver Wolf gets to attack after this one, then the enemy gets to attack. Ultimates can be used at any time. Gotcha. Slam. <laughs> that did nothing at all. <laughs> Stand still. Ultimate time. This combat needs optimizing. At this speed, too slow. <laughs> He's a master hacker. Yeah. I like that. That ultimate ability was cool. Okay, so breakable things are targeted, so I, I know what I can break and what I can't break. That's good. Hold it. Someone or something is up ahead. <laughs> oh, yeah, no duh. There's one thing right in front of us. Their blades are so cool, Looks man. Like the stars the in them. Ambushed. But they're the ones getting besieged. Music's really good in this game too. Can you let me have some fun this time? All my skill points have been used up. What does that mean? Skills cannot be used when insufficient skill points are present. So I have to use basic attacks instead. Okay, so those ones use skill points. Okay. I was wondering what the difference was. Like, why wouldn't you just use the good attack? 
Good time. Got an ultimate coming Never up. Last. Time to say bye. Boom. Yeah. Not a single soul Very cool. here. Impressive evacuation work. Did Herda organize it herself? According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into her to... It seems she really isn't here. Where's the Stellaron? Stellaron is the cancer of all worlds. That does not sound good. Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay, the stage is yours. No, oh, but I want to be Silver Wolf. She's so cool. <laughs> this huh? looks like a hard drive database. I can't see the memory storage for this terminal. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. Classic. <laughs> Smash a little bit of stuff in here, Tanya. I can see the whole space station on the surveillance screen, but not the Stellaron. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. <sighs> Make your what way over Herta here, anyway? then. There's no point in trying to search like this. So, got a master plan? I'm all ears. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Herta's collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. You're meaning to tell me it's on the main screen here? I wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> huh, what's this? Item number 211, Line Spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this? The simplest method is the hardest to spot. Isn't that our motto? Kind of agree with that, really, yeah. Well, that's trippy. I like the effects on this. That's very cool. Strange thing number two. Yeah, really. The data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram, but it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry. This place won't be our grave. Are you telling me that all of these walls here were just fake all along? <laughs> I'm so confused, man. Oh god, are we getting downloaded into this wall? Okay. <laughs> She's a member of the Genius Society, alright. The Stellaron is up ahead. Let's hurry. Where'd the exit go? Huh. It has its own security system. I guess even for her to Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the genius Herda can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. So is the this the Stellaron? Your decision. <laughs> 
Elio said this decision will bring about lots of changes. He also so said obviously, it must be you who makes it. So I'm picking my character, obviously. I'm gonna go with this guy. Cannot be changed after verification. Let's go with it. What's his name? So Why this is Stella. Are you standing around, having second thoughts. Yeah, we've always been the ones taking Stellarons. It's the first time we're giving one out. So this is Stella, and the other one is Kalis? Salus? Kalis? You're gonna think for this long? <laughs> Didn't make up your mind when you got out of bed this morning? Don't <laughs> hurry me, Silverwolf. This is a big decision. Want to give him a new name? We'll call him Rainy. I have to put my finger on the screen. <laughs> just like, and there we go. There we go. Wow, it's like my mind is synced with hers or something. How much does he remember? I look so handsome. I'll remember you. Time to get Ooh. up. Do you remember me? <sighs> Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. Sounds about right, yeah. <laughs> None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving, and you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. Listen, in the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. Cool, that sounds good. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> no, I don't want it. I guess. <laughs> Where are you going? The next stop to pave the way for the future that is written. It's like weaving brocade. You and I can only add one gold thread each time, but eventually we will make a gorgeous pattern. I want to follow Silver Wolf. If Silver Wolf's going somewhere, that's where I'm going as well. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silver Wolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. Okay, good goodbye. When you have a chance to make a choice, Make one that you know you won't regret. Okay. <laughs> no silver wolf is leaving. Take me with you. Weren't the coordinates sent out from the space station? Who cares? They're here and alive. Do they look like a mannequin to you? <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. <laughs> Wait, Ooh, this is a bit too right? spicy for me. Stop it, please. <laughs> Are you all right? Can you hear me? Do you remember your name? Not really, no. Aw, this isn't good. Can you try harder? I'm sure you can at least remember your name. Nice to meet you. My name's Don Hung, and this is March 7th. That's a date, not a name, sir. This space station was just attacked by the Antimatter Legion. We came to help with the rescue at the request of lead researcher Asta. But where did Silver Wolf go? Back to the Master Control Zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. Do I not have a voice? 
but I have no voice acting. Everyone else but me has voice acting. Plus, that's where we park the Astral Express. Don't you worry. We'll protect you from the monsters and clear up this mess. Okay, thank you. Don Hong and I are members of the Astral Express crew. Well, the Express has some dealings with Madame Herta. So we come to visit the space station from time to time. Okay. We just so happened to arrive during this invasion. Of course, as a <clears throat> crew of heroes, we're happy to lend a hand. Yeah, you've never seen it? The Express comes here every once in a while. It's a unique train that can travel between the stars with the power of the Trailblaze Eon. I'll show you once we're back to the Master Control Zone. You and March go back together. Arlan from the security department lost contact in the vicinity. I need to find him first. Oh, all right. You stay safe. All right, let's go. Hmm. Maybe you should take this. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. This trip won't be a walk in the park. It's better if you have something to protect yourself. Makes sense. Just Thank a you. suggestion, though. You're safe as long as you stick with me. <laughs> okay, good. You can view all the characters you've unlocked now. Rainy is a physical type character. Each character has their own path. Rainy is a character that follows the path of destruction. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am so destructive, man. March. March 7th is the weirdest name for a character. The March 7th is an ice Jeez. character. There's also fire, lightning, wind, quantum, and imaginary characters. The imaginary characters are all invisible because you can't see them. They're just in your head. Here are the paths. So the preservation is what March is. Jeez. Preservation is a tanky defensive user. Destruction is for dealing damage and has quite tanky survivability or like a berserker class maybe. Yeah, probably berserker class. Uh, tanky but does see. damage. Uh, Hunt is good for single target damage. Erudition is good for multi-target damage. Harmony applies buffs to team members. Hmm. Nihility applies debuffs uh, to enemies. And Abundance heals as of their healers. Abundance is healers. Okay, so it's just kind of like your uh, typical classes, really. And this is the types, uh, similar to Pokemon types. So do I have March unlocked now? Jeez. I must do, since she's in my characters. All right, cool. Base Anchor can heal you. Okay, that's fine. That's kind of nice. I like his jacket. I want this jacket in real life. This place is full of fancy little gadgets. Herda's collection. I really don't get why she'd go out of her way to collect them and then leave them here to gather dust. That is a little bit weird. I agree with you, yeah. Uh, it's Back the Antimatter Legion. So these crazy jerks made it all the way here. Watch this. Let's fight it. Turn. Oh, she's got a sick bow, dude. The white bar below the weakness type indicates the enemy's toughness, so it's like armor. Use attacks of the same type as the enemy's weakness to reduce the toughness. We select the enemy that's weak to ice, and then we select an ice attack. <laughs> I've got a bat, okay. <laughs> Shemek. <laughs> ow, ow. You have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> Frigidaro. Let's make it quick. I don't know what Blast does, but I'm gonna smack him with it. Yeah, yeah nice. <laughs> ah, Rainy's half health. Stay right there while I give you a present. Smack him. than you look. Seem to be quite the fighter. That store is locked, okay.
So we'll take that elevator on the central platform to go down to the master control zone. Do you know the way? No. <laughs> no, I do not. Um, I noticed that you're not wearing the space station staff uniform. Do you really work here? <laughs> no, no, I do not. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Memory loss, huh? You must have been injured. Never mind. I won't ask if you don't want to talk about it. Let's go. I'll take you to the safe zone. Yeah, I don't want to be here with the, like, abyss monster creature things. Antimatter creatures, not abyss. The abyss is genshin. Can I fall down here? No. No, I cannot. A sleek space station you got here. You can reduce some toughness by smacking them with a weakness spot. Okay. They're weak to, to melee. Rainy's luck looking so hot. Rainy's locked by an enemy and will be attacked first. Arch can protect allies. And then we'll use Yeah. With me out shield here, up. how can we lose? Let's go. Oh, so the shield is around the health bar. Gotcha. Yeah. I have a lot of shield. <laughs> I feel like maybe I should give another shield. <laughs> it's quite a while until, until she gets to attack again. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's make it quick. Batter up. Just a scratch. You can't run. <laughs> Try that again. Yeah, we got rid of one of the worms. Okay, now we've got plenty of shield. Now we can attack. No one of them is about to die. Can't even get through the shield. Nice. To the, the shield. Luck running into me. With me out here, him. How he's can not. Lose? Rainy's not looking so hot. Just a scratch. You can't run. Better up. Whew, that was a little bit too close. <laughs> Level two, nice. Oh yes, okay, that's the healing spot. Nice, okay, good. Grab this box. <laughs> We've got an exploration level. I guess we want to go in here then, yeah. Ah, uh, I knew it. Was it broken or something? But it wasn't me. The antimatter legion must have broken it. Okay. Uh, too bad Don Hung's not here. He's like a walking encyclopedia. He knows a ton of complicated stuff. Maybe even elevator repair. Mm. Uh, I don't know that one. <laughs> there he is. Whoa! <sighs> Why are you here? And how did you get here before us? I took another route to the upper level, and I saw you guys from up there. Arlan is in the control room. He's been injured, but not fatally. Need some healing, huh? You found him. Will he know what to do about this elevator? I suppose as the head of the security department, he should know. You'd think so, right? Then let's go talk to him. Oh, did they get another character? And Dan. March, stay with the group. Don't rush off. Dan has been added. Oh, they want me to level Dan up. Level up. Oh my gosh, he went to four. <laughs> I'm level two on the others. He's gonna carry the team now. This is what he looks like. Got a snazzy coat, but not as good as my coat, obviously. Oh, and if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to give it a like and uh, subscribe to the channel for more content. You've got exploration abilities. Freeze. Oh, you can attack from far away to get an upper hand in fights. Okay. Step aside. 
I have no interest in stoking conflict. Also, she freezes a random enemy. That's neat at the, at the start of the battle. You have the worst luck running into me. With me out here, how can we lose? Add some armor to you. Shamak them all. So glad I added armor to him. <laughs> Clemency? Never heard of it. Nice. Better up. Easy tank. Did it take girl power there for a second? Oh, nice. I told you I could fight. Watch this. Destroyed, man. Absolutely. Destroyed. You couldn't have done it without me. Oh, snazzy door. Hey, you're all together? Yep, we're from the Astral Express. Oh, did Madame Herta send you to help? Uh, it's just a coincidence. We came to deliver the rare relic Herta trusted us to find. We didn't expect to arrive during an invasion. So is Herta a bad person or a good person? Because, like, the people at the very start seem to think that they weren't a good person, but these guys think it is a good person, so I'm like, which side am I on here? Why is the Antimatter Legion targeting you guys? It seems they just ignored the surface of the planet and came straight to the space station. I have no idea. The Legion came at a very suspicious time, almost right after the security system suddenly failed. Lady... Lead researcher Asta immediately began to organize the evacuation. I was supposed to cover everyone as they evacuated, but... I didn't expect to end up failing in this task. Don't be too hard on yourself. Your leg and dominant hand were injured. It was a wise decision to hide here and avoid a head-on encounter with the Legion. Yeah, most of the staff have been evacuated safely. So right now our highest priority is to return to the Master Control Zone and plan a counterattack. So, do you know how to use the elevator? I couldn't start it. After the evacuation was complete, the elevators were all shut down to keep the Legion away from the Master Control Zone. That makes sense. Since Lady Asta sent you to look for me, I assume she must have given you the encryption key for accessing the elevator system? Oh, right. She did give me some sort of card. Really, March? You didn't try the card? <sighs> March. Me and Dan are on the same page here, like, god damn. But where did I put it? Really? You... Ah, uh, here it is. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Now that we found the key, we should get going. We can use that console over there to unlock the elevator. Yeah, this one right here. There we go, look at that. It's moving again. Hold on. I only activated the elevator on the highest floor. We'll have to go there to use it. Well, why would you do that? <laughs> Because I mustn't give the Legion any chance to reach the Master Control Zone by the elevator. I must ensure the safety of the station staff. I guess, but they could be on the top floor so we'll where the elevator to take is. a bit of a detour. Apologies. Uh-huh. You're not coming with us? My leg is injured. I'd only slow you down. I'll stay here and shut down the elevator once you've made it to the Master Control Zone. Okay. You won't slow us down. And you should be able to shut down the elevators from the master control zone, right? You'd think so, right? Agreed. He and I made it here safely, and now we've also got Don Hung. We're more than enough to protect you. Let us worry about the Antimatter Legion. You just follow us and keep yourself alive. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. They're coming with us, boy. Traces is like a skill tree. Okay. Boosts ice damage. Let's boost some ice damage. 
Now where do we go? This way again. We've got some healing. Oh. Good start. It's too late to repent. My turn. One Let's down. Let's go. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> Let me grab this box too. Nah, locked door. Okay. How about this door? Also locked. Okay. Got him. Mm, that's not. Yeah. Watch this. I think these enemies Let's are relatively weak, so Let's just like, destroy them. defense on you. I should like defend myself, honestly. With me out here, how can we lose? Smack them up. So glad I put that on her now. I do have an ultimate, but I, I feel like no I should save that because these are relatively weak. The time is now. Ooh. You're annoying. They could not. They can't get through to shields. <laughs> She's completely blocked. You couldn't have done it without me. Ooh, box. Whatever we got here. Smack. I'm healing. I should probably the repulsion use that on March. Been shut down? Yes. To stall the enemy. More or less. Oh. Oh, there was a bridge. I didn't. I thought there was glass there. <laughs> I would have just walked straight off the edge. I really don't really notice their weaknesses before I smack them. Clemency? Never heard of it. Let's use E. He's got a lot of energy. I told you I could fight. Watch this! That thing's weak at the moment. Let's get it. How about this? Step oh, aside. Both of the no things on the side. Stick. Nice. Oh, he's so close to dying. There we go. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. No, but they definitely make you stronger. Uh, hey, these shiny things. Are these light cones? I thought only the Interastral Peace Corporation had rare stuff like this. It's just laying around, so we might as well take it. No. Light cones are Garden of Recollection technology. They allow you to carry memories around very potent enhancement items. I heard the corporation paid a lot for the usage rights, but I've no idea how Herta managed to get hold of one. They were acquired legitimately. That's all I can say. Take them. They're very useful in combat. I'll be honest, I don't really know what all these things mean. I'm just kind of clicking on things. So these are uh, equipable items for your characters. Is that what it is? You want things that are the same as your class. So destruction things for this this character. So do you only have one equipped item? It seems like it. Okay, so we've got level three, level five, and level four so far. Have we arrived at the elevator? It looks like it. Worth our while. Aw, is that it? We've reached the elevator already? 
That wasn't too many monsters. Wasn't really. Ugh, probably shouldn't have said that. Might bring bad luck. <laughs> oh no. What is this stuff? Grown March. Must be like antimatter or something that those monsters are bringing in here. How do we get over there? Oh my god. Too close. Very, very too close. Antimatter centaur. Move carefully. Activate two times speed to experience faster combat. Okay. He's weak to this, so we'll use this. Just a scratch. Tough luck running into me. Oh, uh, if he's using a strong attack on Rainy, we should probably block that. Yeah, with some shielding. Smack all of them. This is probably the time to use some ultimates as well. Gotta try hard sometimes. I don't like speed up combat, to be honest. It, things are moving too fast. <laughs> Check out this awesome move. <laughs> buddies! Ice buddies! The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. Let's go, let's do it. Ultimate. This sanctuary is but a vision. Shmack. Try that again. Uh, rules are made to be broken. Oh, extreme power bat. Rainy's ultimate offers two powerful attack modes, the single target mode and multi-target mode. Multi-target, definitely. <laughs> Ooh, nice. I told you I could fight. Solid. <laughs> Better up. Clemency, the time is now. <laughs> Just a scratch. You can't run. Yeah, 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 yeah. Terrain again. That's good. Better up. Step aside. Well, it's not good, but it's no better than the others. <laughs> Got him. Yo, no. Drones are on our side, oh, that's good. <laughs> Why does it always have to get this exciting? Anyway, at least you're back. March, Dun Hung, you've been through a lot. Who is this? Oh, you, Himeko, what took you so long? That last wave of antimatter legion came at us like a swarm of locusts. Have you ever tried shooting locusts with a bow? Is this the person who has the drone? I wouldn't have made a difference. My orbital cannon can deal with a whole bunch of enemies at once, but I couldn't just blow up the space station with it. Herta would not like that. <sighs> Are you all right, Arlam? Asta's been worried about you. I'm fine. A quick patching up will do. Thanks for asking. I'll report the situation to lead researcher Asta immediately. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. I'm Himiko, navigator of the Astral Express. Mm -hmm, okay. In other words, she's in charge of where the Express goes. March mm -hmm. hasn't been any trouble for you along the way, has she? A little bit. 
Just a little bit. Think carefully about how you want to reply to that. <laughs> I've never met anyone more reckless in my life. Yeah, let's go with that. I've never met a more lively person in my life. Well, that's the joy of youth. We should take every step forward full of energy. He's a discerning one, isn't he, Don Hung? I have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Look at you all. You've already gotten really close. Come on, Asta has been worried about all of you. Uh, she has joined my team temporarily. Okay, cool. Nice. There's a lot more people here, so this must be where they're all set up. Right, where are we going now? This is Himiko. She's got a fancy dress. How many places you can go in here? Maybe this is like the hub area where all the um, stuff is at. Let's uh, head down to where I need to go. What does she got? What is that even? <laughs> is it like a multi-tool? Or... Burn away! Fire type. Okay. <laughs> Projectile radar tracking normal. Telemetry signal frequency unusually high. Maintain at normal levels. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over ten waves of continuous attacks. Everyone. Brace yourselves! Asta, we're back! Oh, I'm glad you're all back safe. Arlen just told me about the situation at the storage zone and about his injury. Thank you for all your help. In times of disaster, I realize more and more that the space station's researchers are its most valuable assets. Alas, we were ill-prepared for such emergencies. We should have built up our security and combat departments. But on the other hand, the entire crew of the Astral Express seems to be extraordinarily skilled. What is the current situation on the space station? The situation is under control for now. The damage to our security system was minor. The intruder only managed to alter a small amount of data, so it was easy to fix. The real problem lies with the researchers. They trust Madame Herta wholeheartedly and never thought that the space station would be breached by the Legion. Hmm. A broken spirit is far worse than a broken body. Let's go speak with the researchers. Right now, the space station can't afford any more unexpected turns, especially from within. Have you tried contacting Herta? I sent multiple letters, all met with silence. You know her, Himiko? The space station is but a mere warehouse for followers and rare items. She doesn't really care about it. I knew it. No matter. I'll also send a letter to Herta and tell her that we've brought the rare item she seeks. At least that might get her attention. Oh, that would be of great help. Warp to obtain characters and light cones. You can obtain characters and light cones from warps. Ah, oh, this is the loot box system. Okay. <laughs> the train has arrived at the station. Oh, I got Asta. <laughs> she was just in the cutscene. That's good. Where 10 warps guarantees a four star above entity. So there's a trial here, and you can trial all these characters? But does it just throw you into a fight and then you get to try the character out? Ooh, where are we at now? <laughs> The town somewhere. <laughs> yep, this character smacks things just like the others. <laughs> There's a monster there we can attack. He has a lot of attacks. <laughs> An overwhelming amount of attacks. You won't get away. Whoa, that's some high numbers. Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> for a detailed overhaul. I'm trialing multiple characters. I want to try the multi-target. Come one, come all. Can't really tell you if this character is good or not. It's just numbers on the screen to me, to be honest. Time to twirl! Let's try the ultimate ability. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I know it's Oh my god. <laughs> Beat destroyer beam from the universe. Time to 
Sheesh. Okay, and that's our trial. It's hard to tell, just since I've just started, if they're good or not. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> there was cool effect, at least. But where's Silver Wolf? Where's my Silver Wolf at? Here, there's an increased chance to get this person. Increased chance for this person. Ooh, he's in a hot tub. Kafka. Oh, you can get Kafka from the opening section. Okay. But not Silver Wolf. <laughs> I got Asta. I can level her up a little bit, maybe. If I give her one thing, then she'll go up to level 6. Then she's the same level as everyone else. You've got me. Okay, so this is the free character that you get for playing a little bit. I guess you just have to get through the tutorial. He's called Dr. Ratio. Dr. Ratio is such a meme name, man. <laughs> Blame it. Login rewards. Free registration and social media follower reward. This also has a character in it. Cerval. Okay, so I got two new characters. I got this guy. Looks pretty snazzy. I like the colors. And we've got Serval. This is Serval. She has very cool hair. Frosty tips. I will see the characters do look really cool in this game. I got confused for a second because I saw her and I'm playing as her at the moment. I'm like, why are there two of them? <laughs> I'll leave the reassurance of the researchers in your hands. If you have any other questions, you're welcome to come to Himiko and me. If only I caught the Antimatter Legion sooner. Oh, I'm fine. This pain is nothing, really. I'm used to it. In fact, I should be proud of it. It's a reminder of being able to protect everyone. <clears throat> but, uh, don't tell lead researcher Asta what I just said. Whew. There were a few researchers who didn't make it. The rest are fine, mostly minor injuries. But I'm worried about their mental states. Most of them came to the space station because they admired Madame Herta. But now they can't reach her or even their own families. I just hope they can all survive this crisis. My first impression was that she was the daughter of a rich family. Owners of a big company. She was kind to me, though. When she went to the space station, I followed her. I don't know much about science, but I'm glad to be able to protect people in pursuit of their research. I hope all this chaos will end soon. Got some stuff. Don't really know what it is, though. This is what Asta looks like. We got a pretty fancy gun. Gun staff. Dr. Ratio, what does he do? Oh, he slams people with a book. Okay. <laughs> This is Doctor's book. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end off here for today, at least, uh, and for now. Um, the game has great music and it looks very pretty. I think those are the main takeaways I have from it, of my opinions. Like, just this, like, lobby music is really... It's got nice. some groove to it, and I really like it. The battle music is great, too. So I'm, I'm sure that all the music in the game is really good. I haven't quite gotten into the story yet. I feel relatively overwhelmed and confused. But I figure that does come with time, so if you are interested in the story, then you'll nice. eventually not feel overwhelmed anymore. But though I didn't, I didn't really feel overwhelmed when I started playing Genshin. Maybe the story there is a little bit simpler than this one. As for the gameplay, I feel like it's a little bit stiffer than Genshin Impact, especially when you're running around the space station. But I guess that comes with the fact that when you start to attack something, you go into like a different menu and it's a whole different screen where you're fighting things in an instance sort of thing. So the exploration feels a little bit stiff to me. I guess that's because I'm used to Genshin though, where you can climb up everything pretty much and jump and what have you. The effects during the fights though are great. Uh, even though I didn't feel like the sped up fights was good, it was like too many things happening at the same time. I really thought there was a nice flow to the combat and it does have quite a bit of depth to it as well considering there's so many different types of elements and so many types of classes it also seems like. Uh, the names of the classes do confuse me at the moment because there's a lot of unique names that don't necessarily uh, connect to what they actually are in my brain, like 
the general idea of the classes is very similar to typical RPGs where you've got like a healer and you've got the main damage dealers, but they all have unique names in here, so that kind of throws me off a little bit. Uh, but it definitely adds to the theme of the game though, so that's really nice. I'm sure with time you'd get used to that as well. The main people I think this is aimed at are definitely sci-fi nerds, <laughs> but maybe the audience is a bit older than what I'd maybe consider Genshin for. Genshin is very family friendly, with some deep themes here and there, but uh, generally it's very family friendly. This seems a bit more technical, so maybe aimed at like teens and up, I feel like. It seems a bit more complicated, at least to me. As for the performance of the game, it ran completely smooth. I never think I saw any frame drops, uh, and loading screens were relatively kept to the minimum as well. I was running this game on a hard drive, so the loading times were honestly good. I didn't notice them lagging behind or anything like that. Considering this can run on phones as well, I think that the performance is probably relatively well optimized. I believe it's on Android Store and on the Apple Store, so you can grab it there. It's free there as well. On PC it has its own launcher from the Honkai Star Rail website which I'll link below in the video details. Size-wise, the game wasn't too bad. I think it only takes about 26 gigabytes. I didn't find the game especially difficult, so it's very accessible in that regard. Even when I didn't know what I was doing, you could probably just click buttons and get through it. But I'm sure later on in the game, there will be more strategy involved and you'll struggle to just randomly click buttons. So far, at least. I don't feel like diff the difficulty has been very bad. My first impressions of the grind of the game are also relatively low. I, I didn't feel like there was any grind at all or repetitiveness. All the fights seemed to be relatively different to the point where it didn't really bother me. And the fact that the music kept changing ever so slightly to become even more awesome every time there was like a new fight uh, just kept the fights feeling a little bit fresh. I imagine Similar to Genshin, there will be like gear grinds towards the end game, though also possibly similarly to Genshin, you might not necessarily need to grind things to play the story content at least, but if you want to take on the most challenging parts of the game, you'd probably have to grind out some some stuff. Usually I'm pretty good at finding bugs when I'm playing games as well, but I did not notice any bugs or glitches when playing this, so it just goes to show that it's really nicely polished. And I mean, I haven't played too much yet, but I tend to find bugs relatively quickly. And the game's free. It's completely free because they have a loot box system. That's where they want you to spend your money. But playing the game just for the story and everything else is free. It's free to download, free to play. And if it's anything like Genshin, you don't actually have to spend any money to just experience the story. The story content in Genshin, at least, has very low skill floor. So it's accessible to pretty much everyone. Uh, and I imagine they probably want to do that here too. Overall, I got to say that I was impressed. It's a very nice looking game. Uh, if you want me to play more, please like the video. And if the video hits 10 likes, I will create a follow-up video where we continue progressing through Honkai Star Rail. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments about Honkai yourself, or if you played a lot, got any opinions, maybe the story gets really good at some point and you want me to progress a little bit more, just leave that in the comments below. I do read all the comments. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the flip side on some other video. Thanks for watching. Rainy out.